I'm Renee Wonderlake, and we are here today with Quebec Song at Infinite CU in Champaign, Illinois. Now, Quebec, tell me a little bit about yourself. What, what was it like growing up for you? Um, growing up, I grew up training in, in the martial art called Shaolin Kung Fu. Uh, my dad is a Kung Fu master. Uh, he's a ninth degree black belt. And so he owned his own dojo or Kung Fu school. And so from the age of four years old, I, I grew up training and, and learning Kung Fu. And you're a veteran. Tell me a little bit about that. Uh, I served six years in uh, the Marine Corps Reserves, and I did one tour in Iraq in 2004, and uh, my job was infantry. Coming back, what did you, what did you deal with? You know, I did experience some traumatic events um, over in Iraq, not as bad as, you know, a lot of other people have it, but still enough where I did suffer some, some PTSD. What was rock bottom? Rock bottom was was probably after I went through my divorce. Um, that kind of took a, an, a, an emotional hit from me, and uh, which led to me drinking more um, than I was. And uh, and from then, the negative emotions um, started coming out from you know that I had basically hidden and built up inside me. Um, you know, and I and I fell into a pretty deep depression um, where. You know, I spent a lot of time alone and, and held a lot of things in and, and as I was just at rock bottom. I mean, for, I'd say for, for a good year, I was just, and I, if anybody knows me, you know, I'm a, I'm an extrovert, you know, I'm a very, you know, eccentric person, I'm, you know, I'm social, um, but essentially, you know, I, I fell into a depression and, you know, for a year, I pretty much became a hermit. You, you say you're an extrovert. What changed? I was actually working a night job. I was working nights, and I lived in a little tiny single room apartment all by myself, and I'd sleep all during the day and work at night. And so it was, uh, it just, that was kind of, uh, wasn't a good combination either, you know, um, being in a depressed state. And uh, I just, you know, I just I looked at my life, and uh, I realized I needed to change, and uh, um, opened up a Bible and started, uh, started talking to God, and and asking him what I should do. And then, uh, you know, I read a book called uh, Purpose Driven Life by Rick Warren, and I did 40 days of that, and uh, kind of got my head back on track and on, on where I needed to go and what, you know, what purpose God had for me in my life. And then the next step after that is when I began fitness. What is Infinite CU? Infinite CU, what it is now, it is four week fitness programs. So, um, Basically, they're fitness boot camps, and they're four weeks long. We meet three days a week for four weeks, um, and I also offer a bonus workout every week called Infinite Reset, which is a stretching, mobility movements, a little bit of yoga, a little bit of cardio and core work, and that's just kind of a, a relaxation type, get your body reset from the hard training that we've been doing. Um, I offer that as a bonus class. And also, I also provide um, online workouts that you can do in days you don't have boot camp. So really, I mean, what you pay for, you pay for three days a week for four weeks, but what you actually get, you get an actual six day program with the bonus class and then the online workouts that you can do in between classes. And there's really honestly nothing like it here in town. Who comes to your camp? Most of my um, clientele are women. We are, do have a lot of men as well. Um, but it's mostly women and it's uh, honestly all shapes and sizes and and backgrounds, I mean, we have, I have a lady in her late 50s in one of my class. I have girls and guys in their early 20s. Um, and I think, I'd say most people are, you know, late 20s, early 30s. But I mean, we have all ra age ranges, all fitness levels, all body types. Um, and yeah, it's just, I, I set my workouts, workouts up where anybody can do them, no matter what fitness level you are or where you're at. What do you say to that person on the couch who just Hope is gone. Uh, I would just, you know, take a take a good look at your at your life. Um, you don't need anybody else to, to say anything to you, but examine your life first. See, ask yourself, where am I at right now? Am I happy? And where am I going to be at in 10, 20 years if I don't make a change? And if you can look 10 years down the road, 20 years down the road, and say, I'm still going to be happy sitting on that couch, gaining five, 10 pounds every year, you know. Um, starting to develop maybe some health problems, um, 
if you can justify that and you think that's okay, then, you know, if you're happy with that, that's cool. I can't help you, you know. But if you can really look at your life and say, you know what, I need to change. I want to change. I want to develop a lifestyle and not just some quick fix thing where I'm going to try to drop 20 pounds and then as soon as that's over with, I'm back on the couch eating fast food, gaining everything back. You know, I want to develop in you real change that's going to take over your whole life. So you're telling me it's important to start with my health. What does that, what, what do you mean by that? Well, I believe that in order to accomplish anything in life, um, whether it be a financial goal, a spiritual goal, um, any, any change, maybe it's an emotional change, maybe it's a change for your family, whatever it is, everybody's got something that they want to change, they want to get better at, they want to accomplish, whatever, you know, any goal. My, my theory is that if you, start, if you make your first goal to start with your health, that from there you will have the discipline, not only discipline, but you have the energy to accomplish everything else that you need to accomplish in life. So and it's just always good to first start with your health, your body, because you, know, you need to have that. If you really want to accomplish all your dreams all, and be the best you really can in your life, you're going to need that energy to, to accomplish that. And you're not going to get that energy from you know, sitting on the couch and, and eating a bag of potato chips, okay? You gotta be active, you gotta take care of your health first. So that's where the whole start with your health thing comes with. Last thing, where 